for those of you who have just subscribed to my channel remember one thing I bloody hate uphills well good morning everyone and uh, welcome to Maraitai Forest if you recall if you've been a long time subscriber you'll know that one of my earlier videos uh, when I visited out here this place was an absolute swamp and it was very interesting as I put it we've had uh, a week of sunshine and wind so I'm expecting all the trails which are exposed to be quite dry and running really nicely now the whole reason we're out here is because the trance needs a suspension set up before I head to Queenstown next week so I have with the help of uh, Lewis and Co bike shop in Ponsonby Auckland uh, borrowed their Shockwiz equipment to come out and set up the front and rear suspension of the bike and just to see if what I've been doing over the past year with my suspension uh, whether that's been anywhere close to how it should be set up. Here's the Shockwiz if you want to know more about it just go to their website um, and check it out because it's a pretty trick bit of gear so we need to just put it on the front fork of the bike because that's what we're going to be testing this morning and set it all up. Now I calibrated it all yesterday at home so all I need to do now is attach it to the bike. So we're just going to attach the connector hose to the shock whiz, other end to the air valve on our fork. So now we're going to go ride, it's going to tell me uh, down here in the confidence section once that gets closer to sort of 80-90% then we've got some good information that we can uh, use to then calculate um, what our suspension setting should be and then Shockwiz here will give us a, um, some suggestions on what we need to do. So I'm just taking it a bit easy, just getting used to the trail and get my confidence back. So I was messing about with my derailleur last night, changing the cable and it's just not quite tuned properly so I have to stop for a little bit of tuning. Now this is why it's good to learn how to do maintenance to your own bike because when you cock it up the first time at least you can rectify the problem that you made. So. so those guys that I was just following both of them have uh, wolf tooth dropper post levers as well, remotes, and they were both saying that, you know, that's their preferred choice. So uh, yeah, Brendan and the team at Wolf Tooth are, are doing a good thing there. There's three bikes in the middle of nowhere, and they all had the same dropper post lever. So it's not a coincidence; it's good stuff. So if you don't have one, you should put one on your bike, really.
generally a rider who doesn't like sketchy shit. I'm a bit cautious. Pheasant. <laughs> Whoa. Quite get that right. Oh, shit. Oh. So after a run through uh, the very short uh, Fool's Gold, which is a Grade Four Intermediate, it's telling me that uh, I probably need to remove a little bit of air and my spring ramp is okay at the stage low, sp low speed rebound needs to come down a bit but everything else seems to be on target which is quite promising it means that uh, my front fork is is close to where it should be maybe could be a little bit softer this is also a good opportunity for me to put this uh, wolf tooth elliptical chain ring to the test now i haven't ridden in three or four weeks Especially any hill climbing, probably it's probably been about five or six weeks to be honest, because uh, I've just been doing shuttle runs. Now, there's quite a few steep hills here at Maraitai, and the uh, I swear the chain ring has helped uh, maintain a regular cadence going up the hills. Sure, I've been in my granny gear and taken it easy, but it hasn't been any struggle. It's just been a very nice, easy flowing smooth rhythm and that's good because I'm completely wiped out just climbing these hills because of my fitness so uh, I think it's a positive so far and it's been a very uh, been very early days with this chain ring So I think we have, uh, we're pretty good for our data off the front shocks. We've given it a good, uh, a good test around. Probably could have been a, a few more jumps involved, but you know, beggars can't be choosers with the limited time that I've got. Now we're going to take off the shock was off the front shock. We're going to put it on the back, and we're going to then go down a couple of runs and get some data on that. And then we should be done for the day. Got to say, New Zealand Royal Gala apples just can't be beat. Best in the world. That's my opinion.
This is a new view. We're going down the Prospector's Trail to test out the rear shock. So this is our last run of the day because it's time to head home. We're going to do ground zero which is a grade four intermediate run. It's got a couple of drops in there, um, so a few steep bits, a few bouncy and uh, rutty bits so it should be a good test for the rear shock. Well overcooked that one. <laughs> that wall ride demolished. That'll be me, yep. Yes, survived it. Woo yeah. After that last run down ground zero, now we've got 79%, uh, so that's a pretty good um, amount of data to see what it suggests. Now it tells me I've got to add a bit of air for the rear shock, um, add a spacer, and to make the high speed compression just a little bit firmer okay so our low speed and high speed rebound is right on target which is awesome because that's something I was always querying uh, so to know that is uh, is right is pretty reassuring so we've just got to add a bit of air add a bit of spacer and then we'll come back and see how that goes shit <laughs> wasn't expecting that to be a seesaw <laughs> I might give that again another go. I thought that was just a drop. And I was just sizing it up to see whether I could do it. I didn't realize it was a seesaw. So what did we learn from today's session with the shock whiz? Well, I learned that uh, my settings that I've had for both my fork and the shock for the past year since owning the trance have been pretty close to what they should be. Uh, a little bit of fine tuning needed, uh, spacer in the rear shock apparently, uh, a little bit more air in the rear shock and 
maybe a little less in the front and so I'm going to try that see how it goes one other thing I learnt today was that uh, you should never approach a drop unless you check it first because it could be a seesaw um, yeah so that's it from me until next time I'll see you later